we're in Hollywood, Georgia. Yeah, there's a Hollywood, Georgia. It's not big like Hollywood, California or Hollywood, Florida. In fact, it's really small. I'm not even sure they have a post office here. But Hollywood, Georgia is uh, well south of our shop, much lower elevation. And these bees did really well in the spring, made a lot of honey. And we're getting them ready to move north up towards the North Carolina border so we can get them onto some sourwood locations. These colonies showed up in a couple of our videos earlier this, earlier this year. Um, they, they came out of winter pretty good and we split them down to three frames of brood when we were making nukes to sell. Then we came back a few weeks later when they were about six frames of brood and put a second deep box on it, on them all. And that deep box had an average of three, possibly four drawn combs and the rest foundation. And for those few weeks, we just let the queen have free reign in both boxes. And that was strictly a swarm control measure. If at that time, before the honey flow had started, we were to put on an excluder and some empty supers, we would have had a lot of swarming. I've just seen it many times. You give the queen free reign for a while until the honey flow starts and the brood starts getting established up here. Um, it really curtails the swarming quite a bit. And then uh, when the honey flow starts, we put on more supers and put the queen, make sure the queen's down below, bring, come back with an excluder, make sure the queen's below the excluder and just let them go. We had very little swarming in this yard and uh, it really paid off. It's a lot of work, but it was worth it. We've already pulled some honey out of here. This is like the second round. Every batch has been different. And this is different too. I've been making real dark honey. Let's see what this looks like. Yeah, that's dark. All right, um, earlier I put up a video talking about mimosa trees as a honey source and had a lot of comments come back from people saying they have a lot of mimosas and never see any bees on it. But our mimosas around here are covered up with bees and they've been piling in this dark honey. So around this neighborhood, they definitely make mimosa. I used to make a fair amount some years down in South Georgia when I would take bees down there for the winter. Some would stay later. And in late May, they'd make mimosa honey down there too. Anyway, we're gonna lift this all up today. Put an empty super over the excluder and escape and put the supers back and get these bees ready to move. Once we get all the supers off, 
we'll have just a deep and a medium and they'll be stuffed full of bees that's for sure but at least it'll be easy to move them One thing, one good thing about using bee escapes to remove honey is all this oozing mess that would drip all over you and all over the truck bed and all over the honey house floor. You put all this above an escape and come back in a few a few days later and all of this is cleaned up and the bees will be out of the boxes of course and there'll be no mess left behind. They did good in back filling these deeps. Those frames that had brood in them are now full of honey. So it worked. So this is typical of the colonies in this yard. They backfilled this deep and filled it. We got two mediums here and then earlier we took a medium or two off of most of these colonies. So they've really done well. It's been a good spring. My only gripe about this spring was all that mountain laurel we made north of here. But, uh, they drew out a lot of foundation on it, so I guess I can't complain. heavy. About right now I wish I had a lift like Ian Stepler for lifting all this honey up, you know. And I say that, but it really wouldn't work well for us because we have very little level ground. So we kind of got to do what we do. All right, good calling what we got going on here is we just have these flat plywood bottom boards and they're just on simple freight pallets, nothing special. And uh, when we come back to move them, we'll have them all pointed sideways on the pallet. You can get six colonies on a pallet, three facing each direction. Forklift can come in from the other end. And with these flat plywood bottoms, they'll scoot around and stack on that standard pallet real easy. Got all the escape boards on, honey lifted up, empty super underneath. And we'll come back in about four days and get this honey and get these bees ready to move north. On to the next yard. little bit surprised today's Friday came back to take these supers off and these bees are hitting it Selena or who's got John could I see the smoker a minute sourwood sourwood honey it's coming in pretty good it looks like the day we put the escapes on it must have started the next day and they've done really well in just three days so it's it's kicked in it's so dry down here in hollywood though just not sure how that's going to play out in the end so i have made good sourwood down here in hollywood even though it's not a very good sourwood location 
it's a really good year it'll come in and uh, one year I made a solid super a sourwood that was very light very good and just came in for five six seven days and then it was over because it was so dry uh, I hope it doesn't do that here because they've got such a good start It'd be nice if they continue we do have some rain forecasted for the weekend let's hope it uh, comes in These are the colonies that are scheduled to go up into... Actually, I found a location in North Carolina to take them. Looks like they put just a few cells of sumac in before they switched over to sourwood. You can see little brown specks in there. That will darken the sourwood some, but uh, um, it's just the way it is. The first super will be that way. Any supers that come after that will be lighter. Let's see. Let's look over here. Let's look at this one. Yeah, they're all like this. Yeah, I can't help it, Seth. I gotta taste it. Little bit, little bit of sumac on the outskirts. You can see it. Wow. That's different. Something, so there's something else mixed in with it in the sourwood. The sourwood's there, but something else is coming in too. What we'll have to do is make sure that the first super gets extracted separately, and any supers that come after that will isolate them. <laughs> 